and gentlemen, welcome on board. We're flying to Jet City. Sit back and enjoy the flight. A month ago, I had a car accident. Again. It wasn't that serious, though. But as soon as I called my parents to tell them what had happened and ask them for help, they said it was my fault because I'm always on my phone. I wasn't even checking it or, or had it in my hand when I crashed, either. But the problem is, adults in general think that we care more about our lives than our phones. We all know Snapchat gives you a little heads up, like, don't snap and drive, and Waze doesn't allow you to use the app unless you're in the passenger seat. In fact, we don't care about it our phones more than our lives. Imagine being in a situation where everybody is pointing fingers at you for mistakes you haven't even made. Actually, this is Centennial's daily struggle. Before I explain why Centennials are underrated, it is important to understand the different generations and what characterizes them. The first generation, baby boomers, were born from the 1940s to 1960s. Baby boomers valued relationships, play by the rules, and put their work by first. Then comes Generation X, which were born from the 1960s to 1980s. They're known for getting married and having children at older ages because they developed themselves first. Last, then, then comes Generation Y or Millennials, the much hated and talked about. Millennials, also known as the me, me, me generation, are widely regarded, regarded as entitled, but are, are also depressed and depend greatly on technology. Finally, there's my generation, Generation Z or Centennials, which is anyone born from 1990s to 2000s. We Centennials make up a socially minded generation that is willing to work together in order to fulfill our part in redirecting our world's destiny. When talking to members of different generations, we discovered quite differences. Baby boomers value lifelong employment, pension, and stability the most. Generation X attributes more value to the family and defines success as being satisfied with your emotional, financial, and personal achievements. Millennials, in contrast, value independence and freedom. They define success as finding a relevant place in the world. In our case, our formula for success relies on education. We believe in interpersonal learning ruled by the idea that two heads are better than one. A study made by the NCES in 2015 shows that undergraduate enrollment is projected to increase by 40%, up to 19 million by 2026, higher than it's ever been before. Keeping in mind that most centen that centennials graduated, the first centennials graduated high school and entered college by 2015, we can see a massive group of Gen Z members following this trend. This data demonstrates the high value we give to education, even though we're concerned of its rising cost. By following a career, enrolling ourselves in it, and maintaining ourselves tied to the educational community which will host the major ideas in the development of the future, we'll, this will take us a step further in the completion of our task as a generation. All those centennials have been targeted as the worst, most spoiled generation yet, by people who aren't even part of it, we're known to catch more about cultural connections such as the one world culture. Centennials care about others and mostly about the role in this world. As Matt Stewart in his USA Today article says, Generation C is a group that is driven to volunteer and choose a career in which they can make a difference. Centennials don't just care about our smartphones and playstations, we care about the world as a whole. This generation is passionate about the future and has the uninterrupted desire to make the world a better place. Yes, cheesy. Those who criticize us for just caring about ourselves on our phones are awfully wrong. It is exhausting to keep hearing comments such as kids these days. But the truth is, kids these days are passionate. Kids these days want to make a change. Kids these days want to be part of something huge. Kids these days have a voice and are able to speak up to government officials for their rights. Kids these days are able to accept others for what they are, they're inclusive with everyone. Kids these days are we-centric and aspire to help others. Kids these days aren't the scrubs everyone thinks we are. Centennials have also a stronger character system than older generations. According to a survey conducted by the US CDC, 43% of us are less likely to smoke, and 34% of us are less likely to drink than the youth did in 1991. 
We descend, although we are sometimes seen as corrupt or messed up, we have stronger morals and are less likely to fall, fall into vices. Teen pregnancies have dropped 56%. We are less likely to get into fights at school. 92% more likely to wear seatbelts. And 76% more likely to be preoccupied with our environmental impact. People think of us as the ones who are finally terminating the world. Older generations are constantly telling us that we are ruining our lives, that we make horrible decisions, but we in fact have stronger morals and characters that, and are more responsible than many before us at this age. February 14, 2018. 17 kids dead, 60 more injured. This wasn't an isolated incident. This was the 208th school shooting since Columbine in 1999, and the 7,000 children death due to gun violence in America since 2012. What was the response of the politicians? Prayers and condemnation of these incidents. They despised the tweets, but won't act. Ironic. What was the response of the students? Marching for their lives. Organizing and conducting massive rallies all around the world. Delivering powerful speeches demanding action and confronting politicians and representatives of the firearm industry. Teens that can vote, some that can even drive, led a movement urging the government and representatives to introduce the topic of gun reform. Students want to go to school, but in turn, they're getting shot while they're trying to learn. Generation C is speaking up to protect themselves and others, speaking to politicians to represent them as they demand. Generation C is a generation that is demanding action that fits the needs of the ever-changing world we're living in. There's nothing like getting off a plane, breathing in the new air, embracing how far you've come. The food, the culture, the city, all the Instagram worthy photos you're going to take. Now, I know what you're thinking. I need to go on vacation soon. Well, once you've stepped down the plane, once you've put your, your feet in an unknown territory, You'll be glad that the bathroom symbols are, for the most part, universal. Indeed, this new city might be beautiful, with many things to offer. But if you don't speak the same language, if you cannot decode their culture, you're not going to, you're going to miss the opportunity of appreciating its beauty. This is a problem with generations, particularly with ours, centennials. We were born in a new era. Our mindset is built in a different context. All we ask for is for the other generations to try to understand this, because we cannot be measured by the same ruler. Here's when they're finally going to open their eyes to our beauty. We know our task. Don't, don't hope for the world's destiny to be beautiful, but give the world's destiny some beautiful hope. We'll follow our dreams, but always wearing our badge, because we understand the importance of taking care of our world in order to have a place worthy of pursuing them. Thank you.